Hello everyone, it's Barb again, your favorite longtime professional home care personal support worker, working hospice and palliative, union steward, and certified member and co-chair of a joint health and safety committee. The next part in my video journal of having received phase one of the COVID shot, the aftermath part four. Those of you who have watched the previous video will know that it is T plus three days since I've had my first dose of the Pfizer BioNTech mRNA vaccine. I have been checking myself twice a day to note if there are any after effects. And I am pleased to report <clears throat> there has been no growth noted of any extra limbs, arms, legs, what have you. I have not noted any growth of any extra body parts. The extra spleen I was born with, so that doesn't count. I am in fact still missing my right ovary and fallopian tube. That was an unfortunate incident where I got a chocolate cyst on the ovary and it torsed, which means it twisted, and the tube became necrotic, which meant it was dying, so they had to take it away. It hasn't grown back. I did have that day, uh, I lost my sense of time, but I put that down to the fact that I only got something like five hours sleep in 24. So that doesn't count either. The only thing I have noted is soreness at the site in my left deltoid muscle, which is where they administered the shot. It goes intramuscular, which is into the muscle. And yes, that will ache a wee bit. Any shot that I have had where it's been intramuscular, it has ached for a while afterwards. They're also injecting the stuff in there too. Other than that, I am tickety-boo. And that is it for that. Now, some people have said they feel oogie for a few days. The same thing happens with some vaccines as well. With the flu vaccine, for example, there are those who have said they've caught the flu from it. You can't actually because the material from the virus they use in the flu vaccine is dead. All it is doing is trying to create an immune response in your body. Your body may go into overdrive. That's when you feel oogie. The only way you can catch the flu when you've had the shot is you were infected before or you caught a strain that wasn't covered because it only covers three or four depending on the shot. Same thing, as far as I've been able to find out, applies to the COVID. Your body may go into overdrive drive creating the antibodies you may feel a bit oogie that way or you were infected before or you caught it before your immunity kicked in you see you're not immune as soon as you get the shot it takes a little bit of time as it does with the flu vaccine it can take a couple of weeks i've had the first shot i have some immunity but as i said you can't just go woohoo and just run around without masks and things you still need to do that because herd immunity herd immunity is when enough people have either had the disease and recovered from it or gotten the vaccine that it will protect those who cannot get the shot that's about 70 percent or so so until we hit that, we still have to follow the protocols. Follow the protocols. Mm? Don't make me come in there. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I always have to find the humor. But I'm doing well, and I will just keep chronicling every few days, because now I have to wait to hear when I'm due to get the next one. Please follow the protocols. In my area now, we have two of the variants, and we still don't know enough about this vaccine as to how effective it will be against the variants. You see, I'm still not leaving the house. I go to work, I go home, I need a few things, I stop in the grocery on the way home, I try to do that as little as possible. So yeah, stay healthy, stay safe, follow the protocols, take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the flip side.